right now there are two types of gamers. Gamer number one calling this game a trash game though. Yay! Guys, I got a video that I'm gonna share with you guys. I don't think you're ready for this one. And then we got player number two calling this. Hey, this is our rest in peace for Call of Duty. This is our Call of Duty killer, son. So everybody's like getting their schlongs involved, skill-based matchmaking. I gotta also show you guys this, this as well. Uh, be because apparently people are saying that this game is woke. Oh, shit. Because apparently this standing and brave operator came out. Like this video if you just want a good game, dog. <laughs> If that's what you want, yeah, let me know. Cool. Dislike the video if you just love buying microtransactions and the BBC bundles. But you're not going to believe this one. So earlier today, apparently, we had this situation happen, which I'm hearing is now fixed. And get ready for the climax as well. I, I got a video that I want to share with you. And we're going to see, like, why people are mad. And who is mad, who is not mad. We're going to find out. Because in this day and age, everybody's calling this game X-Dead, X-Delayed, X-Denied. You know, people, Sega's got, like, all these sort of terms. I, I guess sick is gonna be sick is okay. Uh, wow, the X Define experience is extremely broken. Bruh. See what I was saying? The one they wanted to slap Tom Clancy on this Ubisoft games in a fight with simply functioning. Yeah, that, that's going on. And this is something that we covered yesterday, right? Because a lot of people started pointing out that <laughs> that this game is also war. Yeah, guys, it doesn't stop. But the homie Blame Truth thinks that this game is good. But apparently, on the other side, the homie Eight Thoughts think that this game is trash. We're gonna find out who is right and who is wrong. But you're not gonna believe this because apparently, uh, the homie Kyle comes out and says, "Wow, congrats, uh, congratulations to Ubisoft X Define on whether uh, on what's this, uh, what's either great uh, <coughs> representation or a manly woman." getting the Ubi slow uh, uh, treatment this may be as bad as a Mary Jane uh, from spider-man right so yeah you guys can see and uh, apparently everybody kind of went in gang gang style on this one right but minus all of this let's find out what's going on in this game roll this and I have been an FPS gamer since the year 2000 with half-life okay. one played that on my compact presario PC which had laughable specs nowadays but I've been doing this for a hot minute been playing uh -huh. competitive multiplayer shooters since 2006's Gears of War been on YouTube posting FPS content and more shooter content and multiplayer content in general since 2007 oh, so I like oh, to wow. think that I have a little yeah. bit of an idea oh, here we go again yeah here we go again yeah yeah on what makes a game good on what makes an <laughs> FPS good on what makes a multiplayer game good before I even get underway on my opinions about X Defiant, I want to just say like this video if you yeah, guys could, like because since video. I have these credentials, <laughs> like I think my opinion might hold a little more weight than most people on here, especially since a lot of people on here, I mean, man, the biases, the biases are out of control when it comes to the Call of Duty community, the, the, yeah, I, I really quickly want to know what you guys think of this game. Do you like it? One, if you love it, two, if you think that, nah, bro, it's X dead, bro. I, uh, I, I want to know where you at. My gaming community in general, people flip flop all the time. I do not yeah. do that. I have never done that. Ooh. I am not paid off. I'm not paid to say this. I am an independent contractor. So here we go. Let's just get right on into it. So when I first booted up the uh, X Defiant for release earlier today, unfortunately we had some server issues. Yeah. I'm not going to docket points for that because that's been a thing forever. Every single game that's yeah. come out in the last like decade, it just happens. Pretty you know, much, a lot of people want to play, yeah. especially a free to play game. It's gonna cause some server issues. Yeah, just like how that one dev team that actually released the day before uh, and, and real quick after, so that shit happens. Yeah, guys, shit happens. <laughs> Yeah, do you remember that? Like the video if you remember when the day before dev team actually came on and, and when everybody found out about the game being a scam, they came out, they responded by saying, yeah, shit happens. So yeah, this is literally that moment, same energy. It's fine. It happens. Though. I, I mean, went and yeah. bought some books, and then I came back <laughs> and uh, hopped on the game. These are my first impressions. I only got one match in because, and this is the match you're seeing right here. I only got okay. one match in because of the server issues. It kind of messed up my schedule oh, wow. for today, but I digress. I want to wow. give you guys my first impressions. And yeah, he started playing all the way back in 2006. Got a lot of experience. Got credentials. He he said that guy's not me, and I do believe that he got credentials. But apparently, after playing one game, his schedule was messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, t tough love, man, tough love. And I want to give you as happens, detailed of a first happens. impressions as I can here. If you guys have ever played Overwatch or Call of Duty multiplayer, yeah. X Defiant yeah, 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 yeah,
Is that the game you're talking about? Nah, man. Come on, man. Come on. Hey, yo. All right, let's get back to it. A combination of these two games. But not only that, if you know these two games and if you've played them or, or quit playing them just recently, you know how badly Activision Blizzard has completely fucking butchered both of their beloved IPs. Yeah. Overwatch 2 yeah. and Call of Duty multiplayer are not even fucking games anymore. They Damn. are avenues to get Damn. you to spend money in their stupid store to purchase microtransactions. Yeah, you know what? This is gonna get the homie 8 Thoughts mad because I, I, I've i seen like the homie 8 Thoughts go crazy on X Defined calling it calling this game X Dead, X Delayed, uh, X uh, Denied and all that. Basically, essentially put like the homie 8 Thoughts doesn't like the game, which is perfectly fine, right? Like in a perfect world, we would all have good games and everybody would love all the games we wouldn't have any problems but sweetheart that's not how the world works okay Bruh. yeah sadly 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 right so the homie eight thoughts is like really really saying that hey this is a crash game bro <laughs> and he has his, uh, his points right some of you also are saying that this game is not gonna last and some are some people are calling this that this is a call of duty killer i feel like that people on both sides are literally just uh being suckers right suckers gonna be suckers okay uh, now on a real though jokes aside though i feel like that if you're saying that this game is a call of duty killer mm, I, I guess you're wrong wrong yeah right but if you're also saying that it's a call of duty killer you're also wrong wrong okay and if you're saying that this game is trash then you're also wrong, wrong. i feel like that it's right in the middle only time will tell us like how big of a game this turns out to be and quite frankly as somebody who uh, who has been seeing activision literally just take us down with call of duty like all the fans have been getting digged down right now with call of duty with the crazy amount of microtransactions literally no content and skill based matchmaking, BBC bundles, campaign, Modern Warfare 3 campaign happened. That wasn't even a campaign, bro. That was such a disgrace of a, of a campaign. Warzone is something that they prioritize, but even Warzone don't get any substantial uh, content in terms of like any events. Uh, all Basically, all the substantial content that we get is behind like a paywall, right? You buy the game, or in terms of Warzone, you get it for free, but like everything after that is like $20, $30, right? $80! King Kong bundle and then the Call of Duty community turns around and says that it's not a $80 King Kong bundle dog it's a reward Activision is blessing you so when you hear these words from Call of Duty players bruh. I just lose hope and, and that that's when I'm like uh, bruh like I wish I actually used that uh, the, the homie blame truths retweet helmet for once right and, and this is exactly why my non-existing dog <coughs> loves to loves to bite people and Sometimes. nothing more. Overwatch 2, I mean, that game is a far cry from what Overwatch 1 was. Okay. Call of Duty multiplayer now is a, a second thought. It, it's a laughing stock among even the developers. This like was seen in a, a recent trailer or whatever for some Call of Duty yeah, thing. Where they have, over Warzone is better than multiplayer, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, yeah, that's how they feel about this stuff. Fans have been clamoring for something to just... I don't know, go back to the way things were before all this yeah. stupid skill-based matchmaking, EOMM, yeah. engagement-optimized matchmaking, which the, the creator of X Defy himself has talked about in a video before this game dropped. Man, that's the only hype marketing line that this game got. I have to agree with this one. Now, some people are saying, gameplay's good, gameplay's good, and that's a W. Listen, that's what I want to see. That's truly what I want to see. Because uh, a lot of people are saying that, hey, this is a Call of Duty killer, man. This is a Call of Duty killer. And a lot of people are also saying this game is trash, but one thing that I'm seeing Seeing common between everybody is that they hate Call of Duty. <laughs> they hate Call of Duty. They they don't like Call of Duty, but they still play it though. But but everybody knows that Call of Duty is going downhill right now. Not in terms of like the player count. Yeah, a little bit, yes, but and also a little bit in the money as well. But they're still making billions and billions of dollars. It's still the best-selling game, right? So I mean, yeah, who cares at that point? But still, like in comparison to the older Call of Duty days, yeah, oh absolutely, it is going downhill. So whenever people see like a new an upcoming FPS game, they want it to succeed for the simple reason uh, of competition. People want to see competition because they want to see Call of Duty do good and do better. Because if Call of Duty got competition, they're gonna do better. And this game genuinely uh, had like a massive chance. Now it's like 50 50. I guess time will tell us for sure. So far, it has been a big success, is what I'm hearing. But it's still like day one, guys. Like every game, like 
you, you know, for the most part from AAA publishers turns out to be a banger, like day one, right? It's the honeymoon phase, everybody's kind of like fresh on the idea, everybody hasn't seen like the... So suckers not have seen like uh, the microtransaction, unless I'm wrong, I, I definitely could be wrong, but so far I have not seen anybody talk about the microtransactions, but when the microtransaction comes in, that's when we're truly gonna find out how good or bad of a game this is, because they are coming, because uh, number one, it's a free-to-play game number two it's a free-to-play game guys he mentioned EOMM by name and he okay. was against it and this is the game that him and some pro players essentially came up with and it looks to me like Ubisoft basically gave them free reign to do whatever they want yeah. and they have you know all the the access to the Ubisoft IPs and stuff like that Tom Clancy stuff Far Cry stuff etc Assassin's Creed even if we want to go down that road so this game, I mean, it's got a lot going for it. It has a lot of potential. My mm -hmm. first impressions mm -hmm. are this. This represents what I have been yelling about, what I have been complaining about for the past five years. This game is what I have wanted to see for the past five years. Uh -huh. Me complaining uh -huh. and others like me complaining is yeah. why we even have you this. You know, the funniest thing here is that back in the days we had the homie Eight Thoughts complaining, right? <laughs> Now he switched. The homie eight thoughts switch. The homie eight thoughts has that Call of Duty. He's the, it's the best game ever. It's the best game ever. The homie loves it, and he has 180, and he has been like going very, very hard at the homie Blame Truth as well, because the homie Blame Truth is like, hey, Call of Duty sucks, right? Call of Duty sucks. So it's like Joe Biden versus Trump happening right now in, in Call of Duty. Just absolutely crazy. I never thought that we would see this day, but see, the thing that I absolutely uh, I'm seeing go around is that people are talking about this game having no skill based matchmaking. Yes, no skill based matchmaking, and Call of Duty got skill based matchmaking, and everybody knows that if this game sucks. Activision is just gonna get another reason to up the skill based matchmaking and I'm not gonna try to be fake offended or fake hype the no skill based matchmaking or skill based matchmaking listen I've said it before I'll say it again I'm, I'm against skill based matchmaking okay like skill based matchmaking should not be in games it can be in the rank play though but not in the public lobbies like come on dog like come on dog like leave it leave it for or leave it out of the games and the only reason that Activision have is is because they want to uh, increase the audience retention and more so than that they want you buying the BBC bundles guys like, i'm not even joking this time i'm not joking yes i joke around with the friendly uav online all the time whenever we're talking call of duty because it's like you, you know it's on the house right it's on the Bruh. it's on the house at this point but like y you know what i mean right if this time this game turns out to be bad if this turns out to be a disaster unsuccessful i'm talking about x defined right if x defined turns out to be unsuccessful in the long run you want to know what activision is going to do they're going to be like doing helicopters with their bullies they're going to be like smelling their own farts they're going to be thinking to themselves that listen man skill based matchmaking was the best thing ever that has been done to call of duty yeah that's what they're gonna say so this game needs to succeed it must succeed even though right now i'm like 50 50 on it sick as our 50 50 on it and sick is always gonna be sick as right but you, you feel what i'm saying like the video if you catch my drift though this game right now anyone that tells you to stop complaining about something when it's clearly objectively bad or getting worse or whatever can yeah. pound sand tell them to fuck off because this <laughs> is the yeah. game i he's take he's gaslighting eight thoughts right there he's gaslighting eight thoughts by using that yeah yeah by saying that yeah go pound sand because this is something that the homie big at says all the time I just wanted to see from Call of Duty, pretty much. Like, this yeah. Honest to God feels more like a sequel to Black Ops 4 than any other Call of Duty that's come out in the past five, six years. Straight up. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. Uh, let me go over the, the fine... Uh, that, that's the thing, though. You never know what to say, though. Like, uh, I, I mean, you say a whole lot, but after that, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, guys. I do the same thing. I'm not, like, laughing on the homie. I'm laughing together, if that makes sense. Like the video if you're laughing together, too, guys. I guess details of this and what I like about it. It's not perfect. I'm going to go over what I don't like as well. First and foremost, you didn't see it because we got right into the gameplay, but the UI is phenomenal. The UI Hold is up. clean and simple wow. and it works. Yeah. The matchmaking. <laughs> I, I actually oh, am playing no. in the default like welcome playlist, which is uh, okay. for people new to the game, uh, level zero to 25. You hop in and there's actually skill based matchmaking in this yeah. mode. I don't know if it knows anything about me. I imagine 
imagine like no i i absolutely understand that right like it's a good thing that it has like good menu system because this is something that we want uh, uh, collectively as a whole absolutely so if it does w even i have to say w but see my point here is that nowadays gamer gamers have been dicked down so hard that we get a good menu and we celebrate it it's like hey stellar blade came out right and everybody's saying yeah it works at launch that should be the bare minimum it's like uh, you know uh some chick said that yeah my, my my boyfriend don't cheat on me or like uh, like suckers be saying like my girlfriend don't cheat on me that's the bare minimum bro why are you even celebrating that why are you even getting excited about that yeah my partner don't cheat on me my, my partner Bruh. don't cheat that's a bare minimum damn it that's a bare minimum so in these games as well 60 fps should be bare minimum game should be good make online free to play like the video if you agree or whatever so it just I, it feels just like random to me i don't know it, this was a pretty close game though so i really yeah. don't know how it works but okay. I, I wanted to hop into this mode specifically because yeah. skill based matchmaking eomm e engagement optimized matchmaking has been the worst thing that's ever happened to gaming because it's not it, it doesn't belong in casual modes that is a way to protect little timmy no thumbs and his buddy billy goat 57 so that they'll you know after they smoke their eighth joint of the day uh living off of government cheese and whatnot they're going to use their unemployment checks to buy cringy skins because they think they are way better yeah, at the imagine. game than they actually are man I, I everybody loved direct deposits can a brother get a direct deposit but it's like could you imagine you getting a direct deposit only to spend it on like a BBC bundle from from Call of Duty, bro. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I just, I'm so sick of it. I'm so tired of it. This game says, no, we're not going to do that. There's a welcome playlist that has SBMM. Okay. And then there is a uh, rank playlist that has SBMM. And then uh, the regular casual playlist does not. I'm playing in the welcome playlist just because I wanted to see the game with skill-based matchmaking. And it's still yeah. better than Call of Duty. Like, I wanted to be... Impartial, you know, I, I wanted to judge this almost like a comparison to Call of Duty and uh, you know Keep in mind here. I have yeah. not really done any of the X Defiant play tests. I, I okay. played the what one uh, they did at the very start okay. I think it was over a year ago now. I don't know anything about the ultras or the abilities or whatnot yeah. It looks a bit like black ops 4 like I said or overwatch or whatever yeah. um, So yeah, I don't really yeah, know what yeah. I'm doing there I'm just trying to run around and shoot because I want to get a feel for the gameplay and, and mm -hmm, how the guns mm -hmm. handle how the game I, handles I How the movement is all proper. that stuff. Yeah. I'm not even really playing the objective that hard Please forgive me, but you know, I'm, I'm just trying to get my feet wet or whatever. I haven't played FPS since Modern Warfare 3 came out in, um, I haven't played that piece of garbage since December, I want to say. <laughs> so, just kind of getting my feet wet, you know, get, getting back into things, getting back to the swing of yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I don't know, the, the gunplay feels great, the movement feels great. There is a slightly weird thing on my controller, it could just be my controller. I'm playing on PC with an Xbox One controller, Xbox uh -huh. Series X controller, yeah. uh, Elite controller. It also has a Call of Duty Ghost kind of vibe, right? This map reminds me of Call of Duty Ghost map that we had on launch. And the paddle buttons, I have to press them harder than usual to do things like jump or oh. melee or slide or, or oh, whatever, man. you know, like the, the back bumper oh, buttons. Man. Not sure what that's about. Uh, the aim assist feels good. Like, it, okay. it does not feel too powerful. It feels good. And you have input-based okay. matchmaking. Who to thunk it? Input-based matchmaking. If yeah. you want to go down that route. I didn't put it on, again, because I want to be in part... Aim assist is apparently one of the the one of the, the cheaters' favorite word. Whenever they get caught aimbotting, they say, yeah, it's just aim assist, bro, aim assist. So, yeah, it's good that you mentioned that. Marshall, I want to face people with mouse and keyboard. Uh, I face a sniper that would, uh, you know, one-shot me pretty frequently, which is... That may be an issue. It depends on the platform. It's hard to balance snipers when you're mixing in controller and mouse and keyboard and whatnot. Yeah. It's yeah, a hard yeah. balance to kind of get. So I think the key yeah, here yeah. is just to allow input-based matchmaking, which they have done. Okay. So thank you, Mark Rubin and the team. Yeah. Uh, this map looks great. Uh, it played pretty well. Enemies are super easy to see. Uh, I don't Dang. know. The sound design's great. I heard footsteps, but they're not too Dang. loud. The gun sounds are great. Some people will not like how many shots it takes to kill people. Yeah. I am not um, I, I'm not against how many shots okay. it takes to kill people. This is more of a team shooter. Sort of like, again, Overwatch or Black Ops 4 or something like that. So I definitely don't mind it. In fact, I kind of prefer it because it raises the skill gap a little bit. So, it, you know, again, it might be an issue later down the line with the snipers. Later down the um, right. But the, later there remains down to be seen. Yeah. There remains to be seen. Remains the to be connection. Seen. I was worried that the connection would not be very good because uh -oh. I heard some bad things during the playtest. However, I am here to report to you, and I'm playing like I, I'm actually playing on Wi-Fi, and I don't have the best signal in my house. And I'm just gonna say that I only had one small hitch. It's somewhere in this gameplay. I don't even know where it's at. So, uh, yeah, that should tell you all you need to know there. Crazy. Otherwise, crazy. this Otherwise. game is good. 
It's yeah. simple. <laughs> I can play it at 144 FPS, 1080p. Uh, again, I love to hear that. Listen, guys, listen, 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 okay? I'm not, like, one of the most excited about, like, this game. I'm not hitting the G-spot, like, but, but I'm also not trashing the game, and I don't want to trash the game. I don't hate the game. Uh, I, I will try it out as well very, very soon as well, and I hope, like, this game banks, bro. Like, even, for example, like, e even if I try the game, and if, even if I don't like, I want this game to succeed, though, you know, because, like, more, uh, more games... Uh, or more FPS games that does better than Call of Duty would have to do better. Ultimately, if you're a Call of Duty fan or a Call of Duty hater or the uh, X Defined fan or X Defined hater or whatever, right? Like, if you're a fan of FPS games, if you're a fan of gaming in general, th that means that we're gonna have more games, right? I I do you agree with that thought? Like the video if you agree. Yeah, that that's what I'm trying to say, right? Because uh, the homie A thought says that the game the game sucks, bro. The game sucks, right? And uh, some suckers are calling this calling this X denied, X dead, literally. I, I mean the. Words are funny don't get me wrong and I, I and i love the sarcasm and i love the words as well don't get me wrong but like damn man do we really want this game to be x dead y you feel what i'm saying and recently this happened as well man yeah activision has cock blocked the homie dr disrespect as well and we have an update on the story we got a whole lot of woke stuff happening at activision on the left this video is about gta 6 yay check out both of these videos and i'll see you right there